We're going to a peaceful protest in Birmingham. All races will go in. I'll show you right now. so I wasn't able to record as much but overall the protest it was very good it was very peaceful there was no violence everyone had their messages heard there were speeches there were chants and I really liked them like they were like black lives matter or George Floyd or I can't breathe or F the government and F Boris but we marched around the city I think twice and then we stopped outside the police station and we were just chanting and they were all hiding but it was really good it's definitely something I've never experienced like obviously doing a protest but I'm just happy that like now we're being heard like after so many centuries of keeping quiet trying to be peaceful trying to follow the system but the way us black people get treated it's it's not fair and again people want a copy of us people want to look like us people want to dance like us people just want a copy of us but not support but i'm happy now people are supporting but what i don't like is i know like a lot of people who are not black but they you know do things with black people but i see them you guys are keeping quiet like, i don't understand people that keep quiet on black issues but you still want to copy stuff yeah the uk is definitely not innocent i know the george floyd um situation that happened in america but now this is not just an american issue it's a global issue of all black people because police brutality it's been going on for many many generations and George Floyd's death was the, was the last straw. Um, yeah, it was finally time like people are angry. And can you blame that people are angry? Like obviously I don't agree with like the lootings. Like some people are just participating in the lootings, not even for the Black Lives Matter. They're just doing it, you know, just to steal as an excuse. But, but it's just very heartbreaking because like what if George Floyd was my father? What if he was your father you just need to think of it as that and like i'm glad that they moved four police officers um the one that killed george they moved his charge to second degree murder which is when it is intentional but i think they're trying to find evidence to see if it was planned loads of people are saying that it's planned but yeah overall racism inequality injustice you will be cancelled it's just ignorant like why do you need to be racist it just shows 
that you're uneducated and you're not intelligent like just think about it we're all the same we, we bleed the same color blood we have the same skeletons we're all human it's just ignorant and uneducated jealous ass people but yeah we just need to end it and also another thing when i was at the protest i saw this sign and it said white silence equals violence which is definitely true you white people you don't understand how privileged you are you can walk around this street not get dirty looks not get judged not have a label already that you're seen as a thug please stand up with us stand up especially you white people keep them quiet about black issues but then you get and you want to be listening to black owned songs you want to be wearing fake tan you want to perm your hair you want to do all of that and you won't stick up for us which is stupid I'm, i know who you are i'm watching you I've, you've been keeping quiet i've been watching you rest in peace george floyd rest in peace belly rest in peace to all the people that have been killed in the hands of racist people and police officers police brutality has been going on for many generations it needs to stop let's continue standing let's continue fighting like and let's try to keep it peaceful as possible but the thing is people are still getting hurt people are still getting killed being peaceful so it just shows that the police officers they're the real thugs they're the real killers they're the real murderers they kill innocent people and it's not fair it needs to end this needs to end